Hello everyone, my name is Alvin Libre. Today I will going to show you how to create an amortization schedule using a Microsoft Excel. Now I'm going to show you how to construct an amortization schedule using a Microsoft Excel. So we have our example here. A loan of 212000 is to be repaid with equal quarterly payments for 10 years with an interest rate of 8% compounded quarterly. Find the regular payment and construct an amortization schedule. So we have a given here, a principal amount, 212000 our J, is 8% or 0 0.08 our M or our frequency of conversion is 4 because it is compounded quarterly and our time is 10 years and our N is 40 periods because when we multiply our time and frequency of conversion we get the answer of 40 periods and our I is 0 0.08 divide 4 or J over M is equal to 0 0.02 so, we have here an uh, amount borrowed is 212,000 and a period is 40. 40 periods and our rate here is 0 0.02 when we divide 0 0.08 by 4. So, next is our payment is equal sign then type PMT, open parenthesis, then click our rate, comma, click our period, comma, and minus our or negative our amount borrowed, then comma, it means zero, then close parenthesis, then enter. Next is our period, so our number of period is 40, so we have to pick one and two. To make it easier, we have to drag it down. So, you have to drag it down until 40. 40 periods. So, next is we have to input our beginning value. So, we have to click our borrow, amount borrow, then enter our PMT call sign, then click our PIN. Then, we have to input a dollar sign before and after the variable next enter next our interest is equal sign p equal sign and p our click our beginning the times our rate which is 0 0.02 then we have to put a dollar sign in our rate before and after the variable also. then enter so in our principal we have to click the equal sign then our beginning balance is our, our PMT rather and interest we have to subtract then enter then our balance is equal sign then beginning minus our principal amount then enter next is our second period we have to click equal sign then click our ending balance in our first period then enter then drag the our payment down also the interest and also the principal and the ending balance so to make it faster we have to drag it all until 40 periods drag it down 40 periods then the interest drag down also and the principal and lastly the ending balance is have to drag it down also then say so that's all and we have the ending balance of zero, so our amortization schedule is correct. Thank you for uh, watching and God bless everyone.